Hey everyone, welcome back to Dub Support YouTube channel. In this video, we're doing a side-by-side, head-to-head comparison between Wistia and Dub. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing we're going to start with is the video creation tools, because uh, they both have some pretty kick-ass tools. Let's check them out. The first thing is the Chrome extension. So you can see I have them both installed here, and they are quite different the way they work. Um, Wistia's is more about editing after the fact. So um, when, I, when I open it up, you can see it just opens up the camera. Now, you don't actually see yourself while you're recording either. It's just the screen that you see, but your face is being recorded at the same time. So you can see here it's counting down. Now it is recording. Um, my only issue with the screen recorder is there's not any annotation tools. So I can't annotate what's happening, um, and I can't pause it. I can just end the recording. So that that's the one thing that I didn't really like about it is that it's there's not any real-time editing controls, but you can see here that all the editing is done post. So this is what that looks like. I can trim the video, uh, the front or back end of it, and then I can also select when I want it to view just my screen or my face or both. So that's what the post editor looks like. Now the way Dubs works is, is quite the opposite, in fact. It's, it's more about real-time editing. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So um, let's see here, we'll go ahead and launch the recorder. And you can actually see the, the desktop controls. That's I'm using the Dub desktop app to record this video. So th you can see both sets of controls. So you can see here, um, I can move around this webcam, I can resize it, I can pause this video, and of course I can annotate the video as well. So it's very similar to their thing here where you can decide if you wanna show full webcam, partial webcam, screen only, the same exact function here, um, except for we have the pause feature and we also have the um, ex expansion button, so an, an annotation tool, sorry. So when we're done with that and then when we want to turn the camera off or turn it back on, we can do all that. So that seems to be the main difference in the creation tools is Wistia's is all about some post editing and Dubs is meant for real time editing so that when you hit upload, the video is ready to go or ready to be customized, I should say, which is the next step, which is customization. So um, let's actually go ahead and take a look at some customization options. So that this is the one that I'm talking about. So the first thing that Wistia does is you'll see there's, there's quite a few different customization op options for the video itself. And now this is one place that it's gonna be a little bit different than Dub. So the vid in video customization options that, that, that Wistia offers, as we saw there was this turnstile, which can be used for a couple different things. This is like lead capture, so this is forthcoming with Dub. This will be um, coming probably by the time this video is published. So this is very soon, but not currently available. And this is one of the differences here is that you're able to capture leads prior to the video. So like I mentioned, very, very soon to be uh, released with Dub. Um, and currently one of the only differences. So um, the other thing is all of their call to actions are displayed in video like this. So at the end of the video, in the middle of the video, you can actually place where you want that timestamp to appear. Now, here's why that's different from Dub. As I mentioned, video gates are coming, but that's gonna be the difference there is, um, here's some trimming features. So we can trim the front or the back, customize the thumbnail. There's virtual backgrounds as well. That's our virtual background that we're using. Um, and so that's, again, real-time editing features so that we're not having to do anything post. Uh, so this is what the CTAs look like. As I mentioned, with Wistia, they're appearing in the video at a given time, either the beginning, middle, end, wherever you want where with Dub, the CTAs are up here below the video for the duration of the video. Like the entire time we're looking at this page, the buttons are there, they don't pop up and disappear. And there's also gonna be a lot more functionality we get with the Dub CTAs when compared to the CTAs available with Wistia. The Wistia CTAs are mostly CTA or uh, URL based. However, with Dub, we're gonna have tons of functionality like direct calendar integration. Um, we can have video testimonial collection. As I mentioned, native forms, so we can uh, capture whatever data we need to through a form or third-party forms. Also direct Facebook Messenger integration, lots of different CTA functionality that is not gonna be provided uh, by Wistia. And then also there's this uh, playlist feature here, which is used for splicing clips back to back without needing to use a video editor. So what happens here is you see at the end of the video, it automatically transitions into the next one. So this is really valuable for when you wanna have things like a custom intro, but the bulk of the message is repeatable. So that way you get, hey, first name, I made this video just for you, and then it splices into that pre-recorded content. Definitely check out some more of Dub's training videos on how to leverage these uh, assets to, to be really the most effective. Okay, so that's the difference um, on the customization here. Wistia is primarily in-video customization, meaning those um, that turn style and the CTAs appear on top. Now Dub also does have the ability to put CTAs on videos like that, um, but it's only gonna be on embedded videos. So you can see here, it's basically identical. Click here, request invite, I can say and do whatever you want. 
Um, so identical on embedded videos, um, but on the video pages, the, the sharing pages, it's going to be a little bit different like this. The CTAs appear below the video. So that's the primary difference between the customization here. Um, other than that, it's pretty similar. You can upload your own branding. Tracking works the same, so we can see specifically who's watched this video, what percentage that they've watched, and things like that. So that's it for similarities, really. We talked about the creation tools. Um, the Chrome extension is very similar. However, we didn't actually mention the Dub app. The Dub app has a lot of functionality, um, and Wistia doesn't actually have a mobile app. So the Dub app allows you to do things like record multiple clips. You can use the front camera, back camera. You can pause it, and then you can splice those clips together. You can add text overlay, music, tons and tons of really cool features, editing features on the mobile app. So definitely check that out. And like, as I mentioned, that's not something Wistia offers. So in terms of creation tools, um, you know, maybe the Chrome extensions are about equal because you can either edit it after and with dubs, you can edit in real time. And the there is no mobile app for Wistia. So dubs win, wins there. And the next thing is the customization of these pages or the videos. Wistia is all about in-video customization. Just the video itself has the CTAs or turnstiles. And dub is about the customization of the video page with playlists and CTAs um, and exit and tent pop-ups, some really cool features on these uh, video landing pages. So that's really the difference. Now, that's um, where Wistia's features, and then wait, one more thing, the other thing is hosting features. So both provide these ability to embed videos on landing pages. We kind of covered this a little bit already. So Dub provides a couple of different options there. You can see a standard embedded video, and then also this widget style video, um, and that kind of follows you around. So a little bit different embedding styles, both have CTA overlays. So that's what that looks like. Um, Wistia is going to be similar. They're going to have a couple different embedding options and also have the, the overlay CTAs or the, the turnstiles. Um, so that's a big part of what these platforms do is video hosting as well. And they're really pretty similar. You can see they have the overlay CTAs where we're both providing the tracking and multiple embedding options. Okay, so we've talked about the creation, customization, and hosting. Now that is really where these platforms' uh, commonalities end. Now, what Dub does different, um, and that's actually the end of Wistia's features. They provide the hosting and they provide the creation tools um, and, and the customization. Now, Dub actually provides an entire suite of tools that allow you to distribute these videos as well as all those customization things. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if you know any part of any emailing tool is you need to be able to create templates. So creating email templates is a huge part of this. Dub offers super custom email templates. They automatically populate your logo, social icons. You can build custom call to action buttons and really format these things. We can even import your own custom templates from, from other platforms. And you know that, that way we have nice formatted, templatized emails um, if that's what we choose to do. We can also just send out regular GIFs with their first names and things like that on it as well. So either simpler email or full templatized emails. And then the next thing is Dub gives you all the tools you need to send these templatized emails out. So that also has an automation and a uh, broadcast tool. So here's what the automation looks like. You're able to build out campaigns. We can send out both text messages and emails automatically. And we can add if then statements. So if they watched a video, we can send them one. If they didn't watch it, we can send them down a different campaign. We can tag them for follow up. Um, lots of different uh, actions we can take here with the automation. So this can really be as simple or as complex as we need it to. And this is included with the dub platform, the complete text message and email automation. And the other thing, as I mentioned, is broadcast capability. So we can send out one video to an entire list of people and see specifically who's watching, what percentage we can export this data, filter it, um, do whatever we need to with it. So that's what it looks like. And this automation stack is, is incorporated into Dub's uh, package. So that's something that, that Wistia is not going to offer. They're required to use a third-party tool like a Marketo or a Pardot or whatever email platform you're using. You can even integrate with MailChimp on their lower tiered prices. Um, Okay, so we've talked about the creation and customization and how those are common, really, or similar between the two platforms. And then now we've also talked about how Dub has an entire distribution platform built into it in addition to the customization and creation tools. Um, okay, so the last thing here, let's talk about pricing. So uh, Wistia actually has two different pricing models, one for sales and one for marketing. Um, now, there, there is free options here, um, so it's okay for like testing it out, but really for when it comes to business, these free options are not really a true option for us because they don't allow us to use our own branding. They don't allow us enough customization to really make sure that we're um, staying along with uh, brand management and uh, 
brand awareness and all those things. And we don't, we don't want to break from that. And also the customization of the CTAs and the tracking and a lot of the other features that are only included in the paid plans you'll see here. So I've already broken down this list. So really we're looking at for, for the soapbox, which is their sales product is $300 per year, which is a great price. But the Wistia packaging price, or I should say, and the Wistia marketing package starts at $99 per month. So again, the free tier is available, but not really an option for most people because it's going to include the Wistia branding. It doesn't include the customization that we need um, for uh, really utilizing this for business, as well as being only limited to a couple of videos. So this pro plan is $99 per month where that starts, and then also the $300 per year. So if you wanted both of them, we're looking at, you know, $1,500 per year. Um, whereas the pricing with dub is a little bit simpler. Um, there is actually one pricing structure that includes both of these. Uh, and that's the $40 per month. And that includes both the sales and marketing tools. Um, so $32 per month, if paid for the year in advance or 384 per year. So we're looking at 384 for dub per year per user and $1,500 per year for Wistia for both the marketing and the sales uh, stack. And if you're not using both the marketing, if you're you know using marketing tools, you absolutely should be using video and your sales process as well. The work, the two work very well together. Um, so the other thing here is if you already have your own marketing automation tool, if you already have like a, a MailChimp or whatever you're using to send out your stuff, or you have automation built through some other service, you can even use um, the internal plan because the really the difference there is the this lacks the marketing automation platform, and this one's ten dollars per month or eight if paid for the month in advance. So um, that is more equivalent to just, and this includes all the same branding. So you can upload your own branding, custom CTAs, all the same customization, just minus the marketing automation. So um, that's really the difference that we're looking at, you know, $120 per year or even $96 per year versus $1,500, uh, at least $1,200 per year for the marketing features, which, which we really need. Um, if you're just on the solo, on the soapbox, it's 300 per year. So that's the pricing models. Um, all right. Well, I hope you guys have found some value in today's video. And I know if you're comparing these two solutions, you probably will. If you have more questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. And thanks for your time. Oh, also be sure to check out a free trial at dub.com and they're going to offer a free trial. Wistia does not offer a free trial. They do have some free plans, but you won't be able to explore any of their paid features on those free plans.